In a modular construction environment, it's very important to make sure that once the contractor begins setting modules, that there are no delays. The cost to operate a set crew can cost tens of thousands of dollars per day, and any delay that disrupts the efficiency of the set crew can add to that. So to ensure an efficient process when the factory is too far from the job site, a staging yard is the go-to solution. So what is a staging yard? It's a space near the job site where modules can be temporarily stored, often an empty lot or parking lot. Modules are brought in from the factory and stored in an organized sequence on the lot, which allows a specific module to be accessible at the time you need it. More on that later. There are important things to consider when it comes to setting up a staging yard. For one, make sure you calculate the proper acreage of the lot. Ensure the yard has not only enough space for the modules, but is accessible for the tractor trailers to easily deliver and move around. For larger mods, tractor trailers can easily be rolling around at almost 100 feet long. Ideally, the staging yard is properly secured, having a fence around it, and depending on the location, adding security may be warranted. Another is making sure that it has proper substrate and the ground is leveled and compacted, so there's no shifting as the modules are stored. One of the most critical pieces for a staging yard to be effective is the organization. It's important to put the modules in the proper sequence so when setting starts, transportation has access to the right mod at the right time and can keep the crane fed at the job site. If this is done well, you decrease the risk of slowing down the set crew and it creates a great experience for the general contractor.